Benson and Diana's love story blossomed like something out of a storybook. Diana was not only stunningly beautiful, but her gentle heart made her even more captivating. Her kindness drew people toward her effortlessly. Benson, with his ever-charming smile and the quiet determination in his eyes, won her heart in ways she never imagined possible. Their love felt magical, filled with laughter, sweet promises, and endless dreams for the future. They soon started building a life together, and their happiness multiplied when they welcomed two wonderful children into their lives, Samuel, with his curious nature, and Ada, whose laughter could light up the darkest days. However, as time passed, reality began to set in. Financial hardship loomed over their small family like a dark cloud. No matter how hard Benson tried, it was never enough. He took on various odd jobs, working long hours to keep his family afloat. Diana, ever supportive, stood by his side, working tirelessly herself, but they both knew they were only just scraping by. The love they shared was strong, but the weight of their struggles was undeniable. They began to worry about their children's future and what more they could do to provide for them. One evening, Benson sat down with Diana, his heart heavy with the burden of their financial struggles. He looked into her eyes, knowing the words he was about to say would change everything. He had thought about this decision for months, weighing the pros and cons, but now it felt like the only solution left. He gently explained to Diana that he had decided to travel to the United States. It wasn't an easy choice, but he believed it was the best option for their family's future. The idea of leaving them behind, thousands of miles away, tore him apart inside, but he couldn't see any other way to provide a better life for them. Diana listened, tears welling up in her eyes. She knew how hard Benson had worked, how much he loved their family, and how difficult this decision must have been for him. Together, they sat in silence for a moment, holding hands and feeling the weight of what was to come. The night before Benson's departure, they spent hours talking, reminiscing about their early days together, and promising to stay strong no matter how tough things got. When the day finally came, their tearful goodbyes were filled with hope, fear, and an overwhelming sense of uncertainty. When Benson arrived in the United States, he was filled with a mix of excitement and anxiety. He had always heard stories of America being the land of opportunity, where anyone could achieve success if they worked hard enough. But the reality was far from what he had imagined. From the moment he set foot on American soil, he was faced with challenges he hadn't anticipated. The language barriers made communication difficult, and finding work was harder than he thought. He applied for countless jobs, only to be met with rejection after rejection. The days grew longer, and the nights became lonelier as he struggled to make ends meet. Weeks turned into months, and Benson found himself in a dire situation. His savings had dwindled, and he barely had enough to eat. The dream he had chased across the ocean now seemed like a distant fantasy. One cold evening, as he sat in a small, dimly lit cafe, staring at his nearly empty wallet, he felt a sense of hopelessness wash over him. It was at that moment that a woman approached him. Her name was Rihanna. She was elegant, confident, and had an air of success about her. She had been watching Benson for a while and noticed his struggles. With a warm smile, she offered to help him. Rihanna's offer was like a lifeline for Benson. She extended her hand, offering him financial support and a place to stay. For Benson, who was at his wit's end, this felt like a blessing. He hesitated at first, unsure of her intentions, but his desperation overpowered his doubts. He accepted her help, grateful for a chance to get back on his feet. However, as days turned into weeks, Benson began to realize that Rihanna's kindness came with strings attached. She was drawn to him, not just as a friend but as something more. She believed Benson was single, and in his desperation, he didn't correct her. He found himself lying, telling her he wasn't married. As their relationship developed, Benson became increasingly entangled in Rihanna's world. She introduced him to a lifestyle he had never known before, fine dining, luxurious living, and endless comfort. But there was a price to pay. Rihanna became possessive and demanding, wanting all of Benson's time and attention. She began pushing him to distance himself from his past, urging him to cut ties with Nigeria and the family he had left behind. 
Benson found himself trapped, caught between the life he once knew and the one he had now become a prisoner to. He married Rihanna, but every day, he felt a piece of his soul slipping away. The marriage to Rihanna quickly turned into a nightmare for Benson. What had once seemed like an escape from poverty and desperation became a golden cage. Rihanna's control over him grew stronger with each passing day. She was jealous, always watching his every move, and constantly reminded him of how much he owed her for saving him from destitution. The luxuries around him no longer felt like blessings, they were chains that bound him to a life he never wanted. Benson couldn't reach out to Diana or his children. Rihanna had made sure of that by cutting off all his connections to his past. His heart ached for them, but he was powerless to do anything. In his quiet moments, Benson would think about the life he had left behind in Nigeria, the love he shared with Diana, the laughter of his children, and the simple joys of family life. But now, all of that felt like a distant dream. Rihanna kept him in her grip, making sure he stayed dependent on her for everything. Benson felt trapped in a life that wasn't his own, living in constant fear of losing the little freedom he had left. He knew that he needed to find a way out, but the path to freedom seemed impossible. Every day, he wondered how he had ended up here and if he would ever see his family again. Back in Nigeria, Diana's life was filled with uncertainty and heartache. At first, she believed Benson's silence was due to the struggles of settling in a new country. She waited patiently for his calls, praying each night that he was safe and would soon reach out. But as the days turned into months, Diana's hope began to fade. The absence of letters, phone calls, or any kind of communication made her fear the worst. Her heart ached with worry, and her mind was plagued with questions. What had happened to Benson? Why had he disappeared without a trace? The village started whispering, and rumors spread like wildfire. Some said he might have died, others speculated he had abandoned them for a better life. Diana tried her best to stay strong for her children. She put on a brave face each day, taking on whatever work she could find to support Samuel and Ada. Her mother stepped in to help with the kids, providing comfort during those long, lonely nights. But the weight of Benson's absence never left her. Despite the whispers, Diana never gave up hope entirely. She prayed, holding on to the belief that one day Benson would return to them. But as the years passed, that hope became a flickering light, barely enough to guide her through the darkness of her grief. Four long years had passed since Benson left Nigeria. The children, Samuel and Ada, had grown taller, stronger, and more independent. Diana had transformed too. She had become a symbol of resilience, handling the responsibilities of raising two children alone while dealing with the pain of her husband's absence. But no matter how strong she appeared on the outside, the emptiness Benson left behind was always present. Each night, she would sit by the window, staring into the distance, wondering if Benson would ever come back or if he was even still alive. Then, one evening, just as the sun was setting, there was a knock on the door. Diana's heart raced as she walked toward it, unsure of who could be visiting at that hour. When she opened the door, her breath caught in her throat. Standing there, looking worn and weathered, was Benson. For a moment, time seemed to stand still. She couldn't believe her eyes. The man she had loved, the father of her children, was back. But instead of the overwhelming joy she once imagined she would feel, something else surged within her, anger, betrayal, and deep hurt. She had waited for him for four years, and now, here he was, standing on her doorstep as if nothing had happened. Diana's emotions erupted as she confronted Benson. Her voice trembled with a mix of fury and sorrow as she demanded answers. Where have you been? She cried. Four years, Benson. Four years without a single word. We thought you were dead. Benson, overwhelmed by the weight of his actions, fell to his knees. Tears streamed down his face as he looked up at Diana, the love of his life, the woman he had left behind. He had rehearsed this moment over and over again in his mind, imagining what he would say, how he would explain everything. But now, standing before her, no words seemed adequate. With a trembling voice, Benson began to recount the events of the past four years. He told her how his life had spiraled out of control in the United States, how Rihanna had initially saved him from homelessness and hunger, only to entrap him in a life he never wanted. 
He explained how, in his desperation, he had lied about being single, and how that lie had led him down a dark and painful path. Rihanna had isolated him, cut off his connections, and forced him into a marriage that drained the very essence of who he was. Benson spoke of the torment he endured, the regret that haunted him every day as he thought about Diana and their children. He told Diana that after years of suffering, he finally found the courage to fight back. It had taken time, strength, and a long legal battle, but he had managed to free himself from Rihanna's control. In the end, he was granted half of her assets as compensation, but no amount of money could ever make up for what he had lost. Benson looked into Diana's eyes, pleading for her forgiveness. He told her that he had returned not just with wealth, but with a heart full of remorse and a burning desire to make things right. He was ready to rebuild their life together, if she would allow him the chance. Diana stood there, listening to Benson's tearful confession, her emotions swelling within her. Part of her wanted to hold him close, to comfort him as she had done so many times before. But another part of her couldn't forget the years of pain and abandonment she had endured. The weight of raising their children alone, the sleepless nights spent worrying about his fate, and the whispers of the villagers who doubted he would ever return, it all came flooding back. Could she truly forgive him? Could she trust him again after all that had happened? For days, Diana wrestled with her emotions. Benson, on the other hand, did everything he could to show her how sorry he was. He spent time with the children, trying to reconnect with them and make up for the lost years. He worked around the house, fixing things, helping wherever he could, and doing his best to prove that he was committed to his family. It wasn't easy for Diana. The hurt ran deep, and the scars of the past didn't heal overnight. But over time, she began to see the sincerity in Benson's actions. He was a man who had made mistakes, but he was also a man who had suffered greatly and was now trying to make amends. The journey to forgiveness was a long and difficult one. Diana's heart had been shattered, and the wounds of Benson's absence couldn't be healed with simple apologies. But as the days turned into weeks, she began to see the man she had fallen in love with all those years ago. Benson's remorse was genuine, and his efforts to rebuild their life together were heartfelt. He was patient, never pushing her to forgive him before she was ready, but always there, ready to prove that he had changed. Diana found herself softening, little by little. She began to let go of the anger she had been holding onto for so long, realizing that it was only hurting her more. The love they had once shared, though buried under layers of pain and betrayal, was still there, waiting to be rediscovered. Slowly, Diana allowed herself to open up to Benson again. It wasn't easy, and there were moments when the memories of the past would resurface, threatening to tear them apart once more. But each time, they worked through it together, finding strength in the bond that had once been their foundation. Forgiveness didn't come all at once, it was a process, one that required patience, understanding, and a willingness to move forward. With Benson's newfound wealth, their lives began to stabilize. The financial struggles that had once weighed him down were no longer a constant source of worry. Benson used the money wisely, investing in their future and ensuring that their children had access to the opportunities they had once only dreamed of. Samuel and Ada flourished, no longer burdened by the hardships that had once defined their childhood. But for Benson and Diana, the true measure of their happiness wasn't in the wealth they had acquired, it was in the love they were rebuilding, piece by piece. They took things one day at a time, working through the challenges of reconnecting after so many years apart. There were moments of joy, moments of doubt, and moments of quiet reflection. But through it all, they remained committed to each other. They talked openly about their fears and hopes, learning to trust again. Benson never took Diana's forgiveness for granted, and Diana never let go of the strength she had found in herself during his absence. Together, they rediscovered the love that had once brought them together, and in doing so, they built a life that was stronger than ever before. In the end, Benson and Diana found their way back to each other, not just as husband and wife, but as partners who had weathered the storms of life and come out stronger on the other side. The years of struggle, heartache, and redemption had taught them both valuable lessons about love, forgiveness, and resilience. They knew that nothing in life was guaranteed, but they also knew that as long as they had each other, they could face whatever challenges came their way. 
As they watched their children grow, Benson and Diana made a promise to each other. They would never let anything tear them apart again. They had been given a second chance, and they were determined to make the most of it. Their love, once tested by the harshest of circumstances, had survived. Now, they lived the life they had always dreamed of, together, with a deep understanding of what truly mattered. And so, after years of pain and separation, they found peace and happiness in the life they had rebuilt, hand in hand, with their family by their side.